All right, so uh, I'm about to leave in three days for 39 days in Europe, uh, about 11 flights uh, all total across that time, staying in, I don't know, like 15, 16 different places. Um, I don't remember how many different countries. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff and, I, and I'm doing it from professional engagements uh, where I'm giving speeches uh, in front of potentially very large audiences, uh, professional conference proceedings, uh, also hiking some mountains uh, in Scotland and up on the Isle of Skye, and uh, and generally just getting into trouble. Oh, also two uh, documentary shoots. So I've got a lot going on. And as usual, I'm only taking one bag effectively uh, on the trip, carry on only. And as usual, I'm getting a lot of uh, queries from people like, how do you do that? So I thought I'd run through what I am taking. This is actually it, right in front of me. This is everything that is going to Europe. Um, other than the clothes that will be physically on my back. Uh, but otherwise, this is it. So I'm going to run through this as quickly as I can, tell you like what I've got, why I've got it. Uh, let me start with this. This is the uh, blazer that I'm going to be taking. Uh, I'll actually be wearing this on the flight. Um, it's Eddie Bauer. It's uh, water resistant. Um, it has a, a puffer vest that actually will snap into it. Uh, it really looks really snazzy and gives it some flexibility for uh, multiple uh, temperatures, as it were. So breathable, wrinkle-proof, you know, travel, travel, good stuff. So I'll be wearing that. This is, I don't have it folded up just because it wouldn't look like much if it was folded up. This bunches down in a little square uh, that I just carabiner onto uh, uh, my bag. Another Eddie Bauer product, this is just a waterproof shell. I'm gonna be up on the Isle of Skye, in Scotland, in Wales, good chance I'm going to get poured on at some point. Gonna need this bad boy. Uh, it's breathable, so uh, you don't get, you know, clammy and gross in it. Um, but it also works in conjunction with other things to layer for temperature. So, like that kind of thing. Uh, on my feet on the plane will be these Solomon shoes. I know they're sort of gross because I've been wearing them. Uh, but these are Solomon shoes, Gore-Tex low top, um, kind of flexible trail running kind of shoe. I like this because again, I can go just about anywhere in this and it doesn't look too sporty, I guess. So if I'm having to give a, a professional talk, I can wear these and not feel like I'm some sort of weirdo. All right. So Solomon, uh, what the hell is XA Pro 3D. There you go. Those will be on my feet. That leaves this, the bags. Now, two bags, one on my back, one sort of in my hand or over my shoulder, uh, the satchel. I'm going to go over the satchel first because it's kind of easiest to go through. Uh, if you've seen me at a conference or, uh, heck, on TV, uh, over the time of the past like dozen years, you've probably seen this satchel. It's been all over the place with me. Uh, very simple leather satchel. There's not a brand. Um, just a handmade thing I got in it, my iPad, my charging, uh, station and cords. This is a travel charger that does, uh, folds out, does my watch and does as a key, uh, charging station for my phone. Uh, and also can fold up and just put my, uh, uh AirPods on that. So kind of three in one charging for stuff that way. I have a hat. I use an REI Screenline cap. Uh, it folds up so that I can put it in a pocket, put it in a satchel, and it's more or less out of the way. The rest of my electronic kit um, held in a little bag that I got from some flight where I got upgraded, or I might have just snagged the bag. Uh, from the fancy seats on the way out of the plane. I can't actually remember. Uh, Virgin Atlantic apparently is where I got this one from. Uh, this has just got more charging cords in case one goes bad and to allow me to plug things into a car, rental car, uh, plug things into whatever terminal I'm in, uh, whatever plane fittings there are, pretty just to have every flexibility I can. Uh, in this bag is charging cords and adapters for all situations and I also have wired headphones there. Charging brick, 
has two uh, ports on it, but it's still small, which is important to me, <laughs> as you'll see. Uh, just about everything is as small as can be. This is my adapter to plug in that block basically anywhere in the world. It's this amazing origami contraption. Absolutely amazing. Does every place that I've ever been in, then some. Um, this does not change voltage. So you can only go this route if all of the electronics you have have the ability to do double voltage, okay? Otherwise you need a converter. But everything I've got can, can take both voltage here and in, and in Europe. Um, so I don't have to have that kind of bulkier block. Um, I've also got a, it's kind of wedged in here, um, this amazing little contraption which I got courtesy of my daughter, gave this to me for Christmas. Uh, after we had traveled with someone who had one, it came in terribly useful. Uh, it's called a flex flap, and it's just simply a fake leather covered piece of metal, bendable metal. So you can create a stand with it to put an iPhone on. Uh, we were using it actually to hang, create a little hanging stand to have the iPhone for navigation in a car that didn't have uh, otherwise any place to put that sort of thing. So. So I toss that in, it takes no room whatsoever, which I love. Also in the satchel, a blow up uh, headrest, shoulder rest thing, the little loop that goes around you. I say blow up so it takes up as little space as possible. There's a theme here. Extra battery pack. Uh, this is a magnetic, it's from Anchor. Uh, just magnetizes, attaches right to the phone. Wonderful. The headphones, the AirPods. Uh, I have them in a fancy little leather case just because it makes me happy. Uh, and there I've also got these funny looking uh, little things that attach onto the AirPods. Um, and these hooks help it kind of hook in, I guess, essentially, to your ear better so they don't fall out uh, if you kind of fall asleep with them. I have too often seen AirPods rolling down the aisle in an airplane and it's never going to be me. So I've got that in there. I've also got notebook and a pen. That's pretty much it. Oh, I've got, uh, that is not quite it. In this little handy spot, I've got my uh, fancy travel uh, fingernail clippers. Very flat, very awesome. An emergency whistle and a small deal of hand sanitizer, which I have been had no problem filling up occasionally here and there from public sources. Why not? So all that's in the satchel. Just said, uh, kind of over the shoulder, carry it in my hand if I need to look extra small for uh, 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 for, for flight uh, security purposes. Is that is that bag too much or whatever? I can hold it in my hand. It looks very very small. Um, and that's what I carry when I'm in the field. If I'm going to go on a hike, satchel goes with me. Here's the rest of the stuff. In this big bag, now this is a new bag to me. I've only been using it for, oh gosh, nine months. Uh, this is from Peak Design. It's the 45 liter travel bag. I've used a uh, bag from Manal, uh, a couple bags from Knack, um, Maxpedition, I've tried a lot. Uh, this is by far my favorite to this point. It is magnificent. I've got here on the outside, a collapsible water bottle. That's from Vapor collapsible because, you know, get the drift. Up here in this pocket, I've got my sunglasses. In the first pocket, we've got a spork, spoon, serrated edge, thingamajobber of all good uses. Um, I can't remember, I think it's called Boomer or something is the name of the, the company that makes this thing. It's just super flat, but will work in a pinch for a fork or, or a spoon. I have fancy like spork sets, but nothing that's just that compact and works that well. I've got a deck of playing cards. You know, you never know. We're getting a deck of playing cards. This one's uh, Wheel of Time branded because, uh, you know, Wheel of Time, cool stuff. Deck of Uno cards, travel Uno cards from Pizza Pizza in Canada. Uh, that comes courtesy of my, of my wife on her last trip. Up to, up to Canada, she found these and she was like, that's for, for my husband. Because yeah, I'm a sucker for small stuff. 
So pocket Uno, hell yeah. A couple more pins and a uh, uh, sort of thing that academics will understand, a name tag holder. Uh, this one branded with the Citadel, uh, where I'm a distinguished professor these days. And uh, yeah, sometimes nice to have your own branding there. Here, easy to get to, easy to get out. There's all of my clear toiletries, liquid toiletries, right? All that stuff that I might have to take out depending on the uh, TSA kind of situation. Uh, in here, just to note, I have uh, Woolite packets and some knockoff brands uh, thereof. That's for doing laundry if I need to on the run uh, in a hotel room, sink washing sometimes called. I don't use a sink, you'll see what I use in a second. Um, but that soap is for that. I've also got some Deep Woods Off packets there because, uh, you know, again, Scotland, Wales, something you need it. So that goes in there. Now, you know, this, this bag is actually not as expanded as it can get. There's still another seam that I could undo to make it even bigger. Um, I try not to have it expanded at all. It actually goes down a little bit smaller than this. Um, but this is a long trip and I've got a lot of stuff. And as I said, this is this is a backpack. It has all these wonderful uh, handles everywhere, but it also has, boom, handles. Uh, look at that magnetic close. It's magnificent. So these are the so shoulder straps. It's comfortable as I'll get out. It's so great. I can't I can't say enough about it. Main compartment. That is a padded area for a laptop. I don't carry a laptop. All I have is the iPad and it's with me in my satchel, but if I wanted to, I could put it in there. Sometimes I pack my Tilly in there. This trip, not taking a Tilly, I'm taking the uh, REI hat, so no Tilly necessary, but that's where that would be. Now in here, it, it's, it's a number of kind of bundles. I'll get the optional ones out of the way first. This, this, and this uh, are all my travel drones. Uh, I'm going to be studying at least two major web, uh, websites, battle sites, this trip, and I'm going to be need taking drain, drone footage to um, not only to get my bearings on the field, but also to study later uh, and collect data. So I need my drone with me. The drone comes in a case. The case is way bigger than it needs to be, as these things tend to be. So I've broken it down into smaller uh, smaller cases here for the, the drone is in there, the controller is in there, and three battery packs in a charger there. I'm not going to throw this one across the table because, you know, expensive drone. So that's not always with me. If that wasn't with me, I could collapse this down a little bit further. Uh, but again, research is research. Toiletry bag. Uh, Free bag from Walgreens for buying aspirin or something, I don't remember. Uh, but this bag has got, I'm not gonna go through all my toiletries, but you know the drill. This is gonna have stuff if I'm sick, this is gonna have an emergency light, uh, shaving stuff, soap, a, a, a soak thing in case I'm just super, super sore, I can, I can take care of things that way. Uh, and even some powdered food, uh, meal replacement cup kind of things. Just a few, don't need a lot. But sometimes you just kind of get kind of get screwed by time, and you need that. So, you know, I got that. Close and close. I'll open those in a second. First, let me get through everything else in the bag. Landing pad uh, for my drone. Don't necessarily need it, but it's very flat, very light, and is useful on the field when you don't have uh, a clear landing space. Uh, it's nice to kind of settle down the, you know, the grass or whatever, so you got a flat place to land. Scarf. Uh, bought this at Stonehenge, actually. Uh, this is uh, English Heritage. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Like, and it goes with my, my jacket and everything. I, you know, amazing. Sandals. When I need that change of pace from the Solomons, I put on my sandals. These are from. Shama sandals, uh, Shama, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Uh, probably Shama, that sounds shamanistic or something. Uh, they are small business, 
but I really love these. Um, leather, they have padding enough. You can see they're not like super, super thin, but they pack totally flat. So love those. Uh, this is my microphone for if I'm doing a podcast. I'm probably going to be doing a couple podcasts from the field. Uh, so I need to have a kind of fancy mic for the uh, iPhone. This is a uh, backpack, do you believe it? This is from Sea to Summit. It's the Ultra Sill Day Pack. Um, that is a backpack. It's rip stop, ultra light. Uh, that's, there's a backpack in there. Believe me, I know it's weird. Uh, but that actually pulls out into a decent size. I think it's 20 liter or something like that backpack. Obviously not going to do any long hauls on that. But look, if I'm for some reason like, man, I need another something to haul. That's what that's for. Uh, and that's great to have. Uh, I do have an air tag in the bag. Uh, I also have a whistle key, it's called, uh, which is just a, a kind of do everything little tool screwdriver, small wrench set that, uh, that looks like a key. And, uh, I actually came across this on a list of things that, um, the guy who, who hosts amazing race, what he carries with him, uh, he carries one of these and I was like, what is that? I'm going to buy one and it's awesome. So carry that. This is a scrubber. Uh, this brown thing is a scrubber. Uh, I also have this white in here is a drain plug. If I need a drain plug for, for anything, it's usually most often for, again, if I need to soak my feet in a bath and there's no uh, drain plug in the tub because somebody stole it or whatever, I use that and, and it, works, it works the job. And this here is a clothesline to hang clothes after I wash them, which is what the scrubber does. The scrubber is a bag... Um, that I put that soap in the correct amount of water and it's it's uh, got some agitators in it and you just kind of hand kind of squish it around for a, little, for a few minutes and it washes your clothes like unbelievably well uh, really really incredible thing uh, it was invented by somebody in Australia so good day mate uh, and that's pretty much it all right all of that goes in the peak design travel bag Again, these are my clothes, 39 days, all right? Is this 39 days of clothes, like an individual outfit every day? No, um, this is about a week's worth of clothes. I'm a very large man, I'm <laughs> like over six foot, two bills. Uh, I'm not small and everything is in these bags. How is that possible? One thing, they're compression bags, all right? These bags are compressing what's in there. Uh, I'll show you on this one first. So. If I undo this, you can see how big a seam that is that gets compressed. So this is my socks and undies. Uh, I'm not going to go through and pull out all of my underwear and socks, but trust me, it's full of socks and underwear. Um, these bags are from Peak Design, the same ones who do that travel bag. I love them because of the build that they have and also because on the underside, they've got this extra zipper. And what's in here is simply a space with a liner that as you use uh, clean clothes and you got dirty clothes, you stuff them in this other side. And this divider in here keeps clean and dirty divided while everything stays compressed. It's just genius. So socks and underwear in that one. And in this one, if I can find the compression. There's the compression. And this one is everything else. I'm just gonna pull it down a little bit, just so you can kind of see. Obviously, if it sits here for a little bit, it's gonna keep getting bigger because of the compression. Uh, this is a uh, this is the puffer vest that actually uh, clips into uh, my sport coat, my blazer, uh, which is really awesome. I can also wear it by itself. It reverses, so it looks just like a puffer vest by itself. Uh, I've got in here. Two of these orange shirts, those are the things I'll be wearing on camera. So I gotta have two of them in case I get one dirty. Uh, and we gotta, you know, keep doing a shoot. Just pull the other one out, keep going. Uh, a LL Bean sweatshirt. Um, these, these orange shirts, by the way, Columbia, fast drying, 
you know, pop them out, flap them and they're wrinkle free, uh, ventilated, long sleeve, but the sleeves roll up as much as possible to be flexible. You know, I'm, I'm trying to take the minimal amount of stuff, which means maximum flexibility. Um, I've also got a short sleeve hoodie in here. Uh, I've got these, this beige is a short that also doubles as a swim trunk. Um, some more shorts, two pairs of pants, uh, yeah, two pairs of pants, and I'll be wearing jeans on the flight. Yeah, all of that compresses down. All of this stuff goes into a bag that's on my back, which is carry-on compliant. So just walk on to the plane, put it in the overhead, forget about it. And then I got my satchel, which has got all of my momentary need stuff. That's what will be kind of under the seat in front of me on the flight. That gives me all I need to be working on in the airport so I don't have to be going in and out of my big bag, maximum flexibility. So there you have a quick, dirty overview um, of everything that I'm taking, again, for a long time with a lot of varying conditions. And that's kind of the key to all of this, right? And people are always like, you're actually really just taking one bag? Yeah, I'm really just taking one bag because I don't wanna pay $100 a flight to have a bigger bag or to be checking something or to have it be lost. Uh, especially this summer, uh, more than ever, we're seeing flights being canceled or delayed and who knows where your bag is going to be. I got a schedule to keep. I can't wait around for my stuff. I need it with me. So there you go. That's how I do it. I uh, hope it was useful for you.